Welcome to the regular monthly meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Springfield Township held for the purpose of transacting the general business of the township. Today's date is October 9th, 2024. The meeting is being held in the Springfield Township building and is also being offered in a live streaming feature. The meeting will also be made available on the township's website beginning tomorrow morning. Comments will not be accepted remotely during the meeting, but instructions for submitting public comment in advance of tonight's meeting were provided as part of the posted agenda. Mr. Taylor, can you summarize any public comment received prior to the meeting? No public comment was received, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. At this time, please stand to join the Board of Commissioners in a moment of silent reflection. Honor the servicemen and women who placed themselves in harm's way in order to help preserve our safety at home and overseas. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This time I would entertain a motion dispensing with the reading of the minutes of the previous meeting as written and recorded in the official minute book of the township. I'll make that motion. Do a motion. Is there a second? Second. Questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Please record the unanimous vote. Uh, we have full, full slate of uh, board with us uh, this evening. Uh, Scott is here with us uh, on behalf of Jim, our solicitor, and uh, that covers that. I would like to announce that the Board of Commissioners conducted an executive session as part of their of its October seventh, twenty twenty four workshop meeting to discuss one personnel matter. And at this time, the board is now open for questions or comments from the public. The board draws particular attention to those items listed on the agenda this evening. Please be advised that once committee reports begin, the board can no longer accept questions from the floor. At the conclusion of the committee reports, public comments will once again be accepted. However, official action on those issues listed on the agenda will have already taken place. Therefore, if you wish to comment on an agenda item, now would be the appropriate time. So I think we have no public comment tonight. So we will now go to our committee reports. I do not have a report this evening, so we'll now go to the chairman of the Community Development Committee, Commissioner Wilson. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> I have one item this, this evening, resolution number 1648, land development, 210 Sunnybrook Road. Uh, I move the Board of Commissioners adopt resolution number 1648, a resolution granting preliminary slash final land development approval for the construction of two new single family detached dwellings at a property located at 210 Sunnybrook Road, Flower Town. The plan includes the demolition of an existing 1,445 square foot dwelling and 215 square foot accessory garage to construct the new dwellings and related improvements. Prior to recording the plans, the developer shall revise the plans to, to resolve to the satisfaction of the township all issues set forth in the engineer's review letter dated August 29, 2024 and September 11, 2024. That is my resolution. Good resolution. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Any questions or comments? Make a quick comment. Um, I will uh, be voting against this resolution. I, I understand that there's little recourse there, um, and I also understand that the township engineer uh, feels satisfied and, and, and overly satisfied um, in the uh, improvements to stormwater um, and uh, landscaping and some of the issues that have been addressed all along. Um, and so, feel comfortable with that. I just wanted to point out each time this property has come up. For a vote, um, I have urged the developer to engage um, with the neighborhood, with the neighbors, um, and just do the dialogue uh, about their plans and about um, maybe getting some feedback. Um, and you've yet to see that happen. Again, that's their prerogative. Uh, I understand that, but um, I do wish that there would be more engagement on the part of the developer with some of the surrounding neighbors. So for that, I will be uh, voting against this. Just curious, are you asking us to also you know, to support you in that so that to help engage the developer in 
engaging conversations with the neighbors? Um, I don't, it, it, it doesn't raise it to that severity for me. Um, again, they, they've met with all of the um, requirements on the on part of the township and part of planning. So um, this is just sort of more of a courtesy, I think, for, for the developer um, to extend that. But Any other questions or comments? Thank you. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay? Nay. Please record a 6-1 vote. And that concludes my reports, Mr. President. Thank you, Commissioner Wilson. We'll now go to the Chairman of the Administrative Fiscal Affairs and Zoning Committee, Commissioner Cobb. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, first, regarding the bill listing, uh, I move that the Board of Commissioners approve the September check reconciliation in the amount of $791,565.09 in the October bill listing in the amount of $1,000,000. $252,636.22. Good motion. Is there a second? Second. Questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Please record a unanimous vote. Great. Uh, next, regarding the 2025 budget schedule. Um, the budget workshop will be held uh, next week on the 16th at 7 p.m., followed by the budget presentation, which will be held on the 13th of November at 7.30 p.m., followed by the budget hearing in December, uh, December 11th at 7.30 p.m., which will then be immediately followed with the budget adoption uh, later at that same meeting on the 11th. Each of those meetings will be held at the Springfield Township Building at 1510 Paper Mill Road in Winmore. Uh, and that is the 2025 budget schedule. Uh, next, regarding professional fees, I move that the Board of Commissioners authorize an increase to the hourly rates charged by the Zoning Hearing Board Solicitor, Township Solicitor, and Township Engineer as follows. Zoning Hearing Board Solicitor to go from $150 to $165 an hour. The Township Solicitor, their municipal rate to go from $180 to $185 an hour and the township solicitor, their litigation rate to move from $190 an hour to $200 an hour. The township engineers uh, rates to go from 115 to $121 an hour. The director of engineering to go from $105 to $110 an hour. As a senior engineer, their rate from $94 to $99 an hour. And a project engineer's rates to, to go from $88 an hour to $93 an hour. Surveyors, uh, their rate would increase from currently $98 to $103. A construction observer would go from a rate currently of $72.50 to $100 an hour. A two-person survey crew would go from $142.50 to $150 an hour. And finally, an administrative assistant rate would go from $60 an hour to $63 an hour. The combined average increase for all engineering staff is 5.3%. And that is my motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Please record a unanimous vote. All right. Next, regarding the township auditors, I move that the Board of Commissioners reappoint B. Bergvall and Company certified public accountants to serve as the Springfield Township auditors to audit the township's financial statements for the year ending December 31st, 2024, consistent with the audit engagement letter dated September 26, 2024. The cost of the engagement is $21,500 plus an alternate in the amount of $4,800 to compile the pension activity for the four pension plans. That's my motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Questions or comments? Uh, just one question. How long have we had uh this firm as our auditors? At least 27 years that I've been working 27 here. 27 years. There's only a handful of firms that actually do this work for municipal governments. B. Bergvall obviously is among, among them. Um, they do switch up the auditors mm -hmm. from time to time so that you're not working with just one person mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all the time and get too familiar with and them. We have we ever considered, uh, you know, Bidding this or putting it on? We RFP? could, but as I said, there's only a handful of firms that actually do this, and they all know what the market rate is. So you're not going to save a significant amount of money. Okay. Um, but it's something we could consider next fresh year eyes, if you would like to do. All, it. You know, fresh eye deal. 
Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Please record it unanimous vote. Great. And uh, next resolution number 1649, the distribution of state pension aid. I move that the board commissioners adopt resolution number 1649, a resolution distributing the annual state allocation to the Springfield Township Municipal Pension Plans in compliance with Pennsylvania Act 205 of 1984, the Municipal Pension Funding Standard and Recovery Act. The 2024 Commonwealth General Municipal Pension System State Aid was deposited to the Township's concentration account on September 25th, 2024 in the amount of $629,155.52 and will be distributed into the Township's pension plans using a formula provided by the Township's pension actuary. That's my motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Questions or comments? Uh, I thought we had some discussion about um, about about the amount that was going to go into each in, into the total pension plan being less than the six twenty nine. No, you're uh, you have to send all six hundred twenty nine thousand dollars of state aid into your pension funds. What you discussed the other night was reimbursing yourself for monies that have already been paid into those pension funds. So it's basically a journal entry that we'll be performing and, to reimburse and, and yourself. That's still our plan at this point in time. That's the plan. Yeah. Correct. Okay. And then we talked about. And then you're going to talk about it because we had to do that within 30 days. But then we talked about right pinky swear. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking yeah. about later. Right, right, right. Putting okay. more in. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Please record a unanimous <laughs> vote. Okay, next regarding uh, Zoning Hearing Board and uh, new member, I move that the Board of Commissioners appoint by resolution James Daly of Flowertown or Michael Davey of Winmore to fill an unexpired term of service as the alternate member of the Zoning Hearing Board of Springfield Township. I think that's gotta be worded that you just say Michael Davey. Okay. It's not an either or. Uh, and I move that the Board of Commissioners appoint by resolution uh, Michael Davey Winmore to fulfill an unexpired term of service as the alternate member of the Zoning Hearing Board of Springfield Township. The unexpired term of service shall expire on December 31st, 2024. We have a motion. motion. Is there a second? Second. Questions or comments? All in favor? I, I'd like to miss a quick comment. Um, we uh, in, met and interviewed two candidates on Monday night, of which uh, Michael Davey was um, certainly well qualified and would be a welcome uh, voice for the township. Um, I do uh, would like to put it out to my fellow commissioners um, to sort of extend the conversation a little bit more um, about regarding Jim Daly. Um, you know, Jim Daly uh, has been a uh, he's represented at my ward previous to me for 12 years. Uh, of which time he did uh, serve on the Zoning Hearing Board as the liaison for the Board of Commissioners and had previously served on the Zoning Hearing Board uh, prior to becoming uh, commissioner. And that experience, I think, is is, is really invaluable, uh, particularly for this specific board that we're talking about. Um, I think, I, 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 based on our conversation the other night, I agree completely with the sentiment expressed by um, a lot of people, several of you, with regards to you know, getting new voices and um, encouraging new engagement. Um, the zoning hearing board, I think, is unique from the standpoint that it really can benefit from having strong institutional knowledge, which I think really uh, there's few people in the township that could bring the institutional knowledge that uh, I think Mr. Daly would bring. Um, you know, certainly anyone familiar with uh, my ward and 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 um, so the being a, a political rival of Jim's in the past, um, knows that uh, it would be a very easy vote for me to suggest, um, you know, that, that, that go, go in a different direction. But uh, I really would like to, to advocate very strongly for um, us approving Jim's appointment. Uh, historically, as we discussed, uh, you know, we're very deferential to previous uh, past commissioners towards, you know, wanting to continue to serve their community. And this would be another one of those examples um, where I just think it's the right thing to do. 
um, it, it's a it's sort of a, a civility that is a little bit lost in our um, our discourse uh, these days. And um, outside of that, outside of the precedent that we're somewhat breaking by this move, um, I do think that Jim is really uniquely qualified for this particular board and this particular seat um, and would just be a, a very good addition. Um, and so for that reason, I really am advocating for consideration to um, appoint him. Again, saying nothing about um, Mr. Davies, uh, you know, not, not him being qualified because I think his, his experience um, and certainly our discussion on Monday showed he would be a, a very welcome addition, but I think he'd also be a welcome addition to a lot of boards. Um, but I do think that, that Mr. Daly, uh, given his experience, his tenure, his commitment to the township and, and the amount of time that he's really devoted to the township, um, I do think that he would be uh, very uniquely qualified um, and really kind of, I, I can't really think of anyone who would be better suited for it. So for that reason, um, I really am advocating for uh, the appointment of Mr. Daly, but um, I'll leave it at that. I would like to uh, second those sentiments that Mr. Cobb, Mr. Cobb has expressed. Uh, I've worked with Jim uh, when we were both commissioners uh, many, many years ago. Uh, I've, I found that he is, his temperament was very even, and uh, I know he has extensive uh, background in, obviously, our zoning uh, code and zoning issues uh, throughout the Commonwealth, uh, and would strongly recommend to my fellow commissioners that uh, uh, they support uh, Jim's uh, request to be an alternative on our, on our zoning hearing board. Any other questions or comments? So we have the motion open. Oh, we can just vote on that now. You have a motion and a second. You can take a vote on that now. If it doesn't pass, you could take another motion. Okay. So, the, so to be clear, the, the motion that's already on the table is for um, a yay or nay vote on the appointment of Michael Davey. Uh, any other questions or comments? I just want to represent for the benefit of the public uh, that one major factor for me in uh, voting for Mr. Davey is as uh, Commissioner Cobb alluded to, bringing in new voices, extending our hand, encouraging more participation, and that doesn't take away from the many years of service uh, you know, that Mr. Daly has brought to this board. And I just want to be sure that's known and clear that I think this is a, you know, a really great opportunity to continue to extend our hand. I think there are a couple other things to consider, uh, one being that there are uh, many uh, years of tenure uh, by present zoning hearing board members is a relevant factor, as well as this being an alternate position, having you know opportunity to allow someone new into a position to learn uh, the, in this way, I think is a, a valuable opportunity as well. Uh, so that's why I'd be voting for Mr. Davey. Any other questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Nay. Please record a 5-2 vote. Okay. And uh, finally, regarding the Zoning Hearing Board agenda for the month of October, the Zoning Hearing Board will meet on Monday, October 28th at 7 p.m. in the Springfield Township Building, where they will hear the following application. Uh, this is the hearing. Uh, is, is scheduled to consider an application from the Foreman Sign Company of 10, 104 47 Drummond Road, Philadelphia, PA. Uh, the property associated with this application is owned by 1851 Bethlehem Pike uh, within the B2 Business Zoning District of Ward 6. The applicant is requesting the following relief from Springfield Township, uh, a variance to permit two signs on both the primary and secondary side of the building, and a variance from uh, to permit the two signs on the secondary side of the building to have a square footage in excess of what is permitted. Interesting, interested parties may view the application and any plans relating thereto at the Springfield Township building located at 1510 Paper Mill Road um, in Winmore. And again, that application, uh, which for anyone is interested in, is for the proposed uh, new Starbucks building on Bethlehem Pike. Uh, will be held uh, at a public hearing on Monday, October 28th at 7 p.m. That's my report.
Thank you, Commissioner Cobb. We will now go to the Chairwoman of the Parks and Recreational Resources Committee, Commissioner Retzeval. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I have one announcement this evening. The, these are the announcements of the Recreation Center Master Plan public meetings. Uh, I'm going to be announcing the following public meetings related to the Rec Center Master Planning process. Uh, there are two of them. First upcoming is one on Wednesday, October 23rd, the Public Comment Information Gathering Workshop at 6 p.m. at the Recreation Center itself on Willow Grove. Uh, following that, there will be a follow-up information and public comment meeting on Wednesday, November 20th, also at 6 p.m. here in this township building. We welcome everyone's comments. Uh, it'd be a great opportunity to see you all on site. And don't forget that there is a Zoom available on the uh, website right now if you would like to get some background information before coming to these meetings and bringing your uh, wonderful opinions and questions. That is my report. Thank you, Commissioner Retzevon. We'll now go to the Chairman of the Environmental Resources Committee, Commissioner May. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> I'll begin with the recycling report. During the month of September 2024, Springfield Township residents recycled 141.2 tons of material with a householder participation rate of 76.1%. The net cost for the month was $18,089.72. Next, we have a paper shredding and e-waste collection disposal. Uh, State Senator Art Haywood and State Representative Napoleon Nelson will be hosting a paper shredding medication disposal and e-waste recycling event on Saturday, October 19th, 2024 at Springfield Township High School. The event is free and will be held from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. Safe medication disposal will be provided by the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office. For more information regarding materials that are acceptable for collection, please contact Senator Haywood's office or State Rep Nelson's office. Contact information can be found on the flyers on the table in the hallway. And then lastly, I have a uh, motion regarding recycling ordinance. ordinance. I move that the Board of Commissioners authorize the advertisement of an ordinance to amend Chapter 72, Recycling of the Code of the Township of Springfield by adding a definition for community activities. While reviewing the Township's annual recycling performance grant application for the calendar year <clears throat> ending December 31st, 2023, the Department of Environmental Protection, DEP, requested that a definition be added consistent with Act 101 of 1988, the Waste Planning, Recycling, and Reduction Act. The proposed ordinance will satisfy the request of the DEP. That is my motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. That is my report. Seven units. I thought I heard a burp. Thank you, Commissioner May. We'll now go to the Chairwoman of the Public Works and Facilities Committee, Commissioner McNamara. Thank you, Mr. President. I have two items tonight. The first is resolution number 1650, which is the Pico Green Region Bonus Grant. I move that the Board of Commissioners adopt resolution number 1650, a resolution authorizing application to the Pico Green Region Open Space Program Bonus Round for the purchase of a Ford F-150 all-electric pickup truck to be utilized by the Springfield Township Police Department. The purchase of the electric vehicle aligns closely with Pico's Pico Energy's Path to Clean Energy Initiative, as well as the Springfield Township Ready for 100 resolution setting forth goals to transition 100% clean and renewable electricity by 2030 into a 100% clean and renewable energy heat and transportation by 2050. That is my motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? Questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Please record unanimous vote. The second item is regarding Skyline Drive stormwater detention basin. I move that the Board of Commissioners authorize the appropriate township officials to execute a stormwater facilities easement agreement with the Paper Mill Estates Community Association to complete modifications to an existing stormwater detention basin owned and maintained by the association. The agreement grants the agreement grants to the township a temporary construction easement and permanent inspection and maintenance easement, as well as the future maintenance obligations for the township and the association. That is my motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. 
Questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Please record your unanimous vote. That concludes my report. Thank you, Commissioner McNamara. We'll now go to the Chairman of the Cultural Resources Committee, Commissioner Morris. Thank you. Um, the bylaws of the Springfield Township Library Advisory Committee state that one member of the Board of Directors of the School District of Springfield Township shall serve as a voting member of the committee. The School District of Springfield Township recently informed the Board of Commissioners that Dr. Lee Aberley has been designated as the School District's voting members. Therefore, I move that the Board of Commissioners appoint Dr. Lee, Dr. Abley to fill an unexpired term of service as a member of the Springfield Township Library Advisory Committee. Dr. Abley's term of service shall expire on December 31, 2026. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Please record a unanimous vote. And that is the conclusion of my report. Thank you, Commissioner Morris. Uh, the board is once again open to receiving public comment. Uh, hearing none, uh, I would accept a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. I'll make that motion. Uh, whoop, wait. I think we went <laughs> back. There, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. If I would entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll make that motion. I'll make the motion. <laughs> Second. Second. All right. Uh, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Please record unanimous vote. And we are adjourned. Thank you.